Yo, ho, ho, Da Mafia. Welcome. Right to yet another edition of the Da Mafia Report. As always, your host, Dan Mitchell. Yeah, that is absolutely right. You did read that title correctly. I'm going to be listing a couple of players that I believe really need to step their shit up, especially based off of the performance that we ended up seeing against the Indianapolis Colts this past Saturday. Now, I didn't want to waste a video like talking about who absolutely balled because we all watch the game. We know who is making a statement, whether or not that it's Tim Settle, who is probably one of the absolute best offensive line pickups in free agency we have picked up in quite some time. We have Khalil Shakur, Shakir. I know that somebody sent me a pronunciation guide the other day. I haven't had a chance to go through that yet. Bear with me. And then several other players absolutely balling but there were a couple of names that i wanted to highlight that i really want to see a bit more of now granted i do understand that it is only the preseason they just got done with an entire offseason of not playing football whatsoever so i'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt as of now but without further ado let's just go on ahead and dive into these players so number one hands down has to be has to be Case Keenum, right? I mean, we ended up sending over a seventh round pick to Cleveland for him. Granted, that's not a lot of draft capital, but the performance that he ended up putting out there um, was lackluster. I mean, especially once you end up looking back at his career, some might even say that he was a one-hit wonder when it came down into the whole Minnesota Vikings or Minnesota Miracle, but there were so many passes out there where legitimately I thought that a rookie threw them, right? I mean, those two interceptions didn't help. He fumbled the ball. Really not somebody, uh, really not something that you want to see from a backup quarterback. Now, Josh, historically, outside of his first year, has stayed very healthy. It's knock on wood, right? He's going to continue that. He's going to be healthy the entire season, and we're only going to see Keenum when we're absolutely waxing a team by 30 to 40 points into the fourth quarter. But from what I ended up seeing out of this, I need to feel a bit more confident about Case Keenum, and I'm really hoping that he gets his share of snaps against the Panthers this coming weekend. Next up is going to have to be OJ Howard and Tommy Sweeney. Now, yes, I am going to sit here and I am going to preach to the choir that I think Dawson Knox is about to have a complete blow-up season this year. I mean, it's fantastic, but the problem is that the depth that we ended up investing in in OJ Howard and then a seasoned veteran who has had a hard time staying healthy really didn't produce against the Colts during that first matchup. And so granted with OJ Howard specifically, he really wasn't targeted that much. And one in particular, Case Keenum tried squeezing in something very tight window that yes, very difficult to catch, but somebody that is an absolute veteran, I'm expecting a veteran tight end to come up with that. And so especially in fourth down situations, I think that he really didn't have a lot of opportunities out there since he wasn't targeted that often. However, when your name is called, really need our tight end to make plays. Absolutely a necessity. And so it was Sweeney, like OJ Howard, he really didn't have a lot of targets moving into it, but something that was notable was when Keenum attempted to hit Sweeney to bring the Bills in field goal range prior to the half being over, and then Sweeney ended up dropping it. Really wanna see a lot more from our tight end depth. Luckily, this is only one game into the preseason. And so next up is going to have to be Duke Johnson. Now, I mean, this guy really isn't doing himself any favors, especially due to the competition within the running back room. James Cook is obviously going to make this team. Devin Singletary is obviously going to be number one, at least for part of the year. And Zach Moss, although that I have been a massive critic of this dude this entire offseason, he's been looking very very good. With Duke Johnson, he had about uh, six attempts for a total of nine yards on the ground, and then I think he had uh, two pass catches for a total of two yards. Um, really not the kind of numbers that um, are coming from somebody that is going to be a roster lock, if you will. Now, he did end up having a very nice return for about 43 yards on special teams, but he's going to have to do a lot if he wants to have a place on this team. And so last but not least is going to be Jake Kumaro. Um, now, he did end up making plays. And let me preface this by saying that he is a massive contributor to special teams. And I think that there's no reality on the face of the planet that he does not make this team just due to his special teams contribution alone. However, that fumble that he made at the end of the first 
did not really do him any favors. If he wants to go out there and actually get some snaps, play for the first team offense, uh, which is unlikely that he even didn't fumble that football. Um, definitely want to see what else he can do. Say that his name were to be called, that he does need to be a receiver on that first team offense for, for any reason at all this season. Now, like I said, Dom Mafia, um, I think that this is only the first preseason game. And let's be honest with ourselves. Our team looked damn good especially our defense. Our defense was absolutely giving me a chubby the entire time that I was watching that defensive line just absolutely bully the Colts. Love performances from our rookies, and then even some of the performances from some of the rookies on the offensive side of the ball as well. Overall, I thought the Bills did great. Um, it's just those couple of players where I really want to see step up, especially on Friday against the Carolina Panthers. Do me a favor, leave a comment. Um, who did I miss on this list? Who is somebody that you really need to see step up? Always curious and always love hearing your feedback. Dom Mafia, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another edition of the Dom Mafia Report. And before I let you go, you better always remember, let's go, Buffalo.